morning. You're watching Left, Right and Center. I'm Nidhi Razdan. Tonight, outrage over the CBI director's rape analogy. Ranjit Sinha expresses regret, but is that enough? Demands for his resignation grow. The question is, should the CBI chief resign or should the matter rest? Well, CBI director Ranjit Sinha has been trying to do some desperate damage control all day today after making a rather bizarre analogy between legalizing betting and rape, a remark that has triggered outrage across the board. Even though he has expressed regret, women's groups aren't buying it and many say he should in fact step down. What's the harm if we can have, you know, uh, if we legalize betting? And above all, do we have the enforcement agencies? Do we have the enforcement? It is very easy to say that you will, if you can't enforce it, it is like if, if you can't prevent rape, you enjoy it. After the outrage at the Chief's remark at the CBI's Golden Jubilee celebrations from early this morning, the agency and Ranjit Sinha began firefighting. First, they said the remark was taken out of context but soon realized that wasn't enough. So Sinha went before the cameras with this. I regret any hurt caused as the same was inadvertent and unintended. I reiterate my deep sense of regard and respect for women and commitment to gender issues. For a nation still hurting from the aftermath of December 16, when a student was gang raped and murdered, this statement from a top police officer was too much to bear. From industrialists to politicians, many demanded the CBI chief be fired. If he had any sense of moral obligation, he would offer to resign. He should have a greater sensitivity on women related issues, mm -hmm. not even a slip of the tongue, mm -hmm. especially being the director of the CBI, mm -hmm. can give him immunity. Women really cannot trust agencies like CBI if they are to be headed by these um, kind of uh, mindsets. The government, which used the Jubilee to attack the agency over its scam investigations, also criticized the statement. All of us. Uh, need to be extremely careful uh, in articulating our position with regard to uh, the rights of women. In a year when they've been hauled by the courts for being caged parrots and derided by the opposition as the Congress Bureau of Investigation, the epithet of being anti-women is something they can do without. In New Delhi, Sunaitra Chaudhary for NDTV. Well, is the CBI director's apology enough or should, in fact, Ranjit Sinha step down? After all, the argument has been that he is the country's top police officer and in the capacity in which he made this statement, therefore, is causing far more outrage than ever. Joining us on the program tonight, we've got columnist and author Shobha Day joining us tonight from Mumbai, Nirmala Samad Prabhavalkar, the member of the National Commission for Women here in Delhi. Joginder Singh, the former director of the CBI, joins us from Delhi. Also, Randeep Singh Surjewala, spokesperson of the Congress Party and minister in the Haryana government. Government. Shobha Day, let me ask you first. Ranjit Sinha has expressed regret. Uh, many say that uh, regret has been more convoluted than the original statement yeah, itself. Yeah, yeah. But do you believe the matter should rest there? Or, as many others are saying, that there is much more at stake in this issue and that, in fact, he must go? Well, I watched his, um, his regret being expressed and I thought it was A, uh, completely disingenuous. He didn't seem like he meant it in the least bit. It was just um, a kind of face-saving thing, too little, too, too late. Whether he should go or not, I mean, that's a very, very big question. What he has displayed is a complete lack of civility. Not only has he insulted the women of India, who he is there to protect, uh, forget about protecting them. This is like a slap in the face. Every single woman in India, particularly in this year, this year has been a critical year in terms of the number of rape incidents. The world has called us the rape capital of, of, of the universe. We have the Nirbhaya judgment coming up and a man at his level with the sort of responsibility that that job entails to make a statement that is so blatantly sexist and to think that it's made in a jocular way, well, the joke's going to be on him. Whether he should resign or not, he should have the, 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 it's not public pressure that should make him resign. He should feel ashamed of himself. He should, he has apologized to the women of this country, but he should have it within himself to say, I'm not fit for this job, I'm sorry. To make a statement like this uh, in public and to think you can get away with it with a mere apology, it doesn't cut much you know, ice. and that Nirmalaji is part of the problem is that a lot of people now make absurd statements, offensive statements and, and say a lot of crazy things 
and then think it's okay once they uh, express regret or apologize and yours and as you say and you i think you agree with shobha on this that it doesn't cut ice anymore it's not enough if he has little uh, sense if he has little respect for women i think that immediately he on his own Uh, should step down that is the only way he can uh, otherwise uh, only apologies uh, i think he is not obliging us by giving apologies he has hurt the entire womanhood he has hurt the feelings of all women it has affected the status and dignity of a woman which is enshrined in our constitution and moreover he is coming from such a highest investigating agency of our country and he is the one who is investigating the matters not only corporate affairs or high profile matters or matters relating to crimes in the corporate sector but he also investigates his uh, whole institution in investigates the matter relating to women even we asked ncw has recommended several matters like uh, acid attack on preeti rathi acid attack bhandara uh, rape case etc but uh, that means uh, women the uh, issues are also being investigated by cbi but now the national commission for yeah. women sent him a notice right you've given him we a 24 hour we have already sent him a uh, notice in so the afternoon happened? on yeah in the afternoon and 24 hours have been given to reply what i mean to say that he is sitting on such a high position and if he is so unaccountable he is so irresponsible if he is so insensitive his apologies are totally unaccepted but you want to actually press this matter further you're saying you're also going to write to the prime minister and say that he should ask for his resignation absolutely because he is sitting on such a high position and he's talking like this against women that you enjoy rape and then he's coming out with explanation which is so ridiculous and it is totally unacceptable where is baiting and where is rape there is no comparison there was no need for him to give this uh, kind of a, this shows is sick cunning mindset this is a male dominated uh, society which speaks about this shows what respect he has for women and he has no moral and otherwise also he shouldn't he should step down immediately okay let me yeah. take that to